In this video, I will explain you how you can strengthen your cartilage, which is important if you suffer from previous cartilage injury or from cartilage wear, either in the hip, the knee or the ankle. Strengthening your remaining cartilage is then very important because it will enable you to maintain or regain smooth and pain-free movement of the joints and it will also provide protection to further wear and it may also make you recover towards gradually re-engaging in sports, even in sports that are not really considered cartilage friendly, like running and jumping. Now many people think that cartilage cannot be strengthened because it is similar to the enamel of your teeth. Well, that is fundamentally wrong, we know today. And the reason is that cartilage is a metabolic active tissue which contains living cells, the so-called chondrocytes. And these chondrocytes produce the extracellular cartilage matrix as well as collagen fibers that keep the matrix together. And this leads to the very specific characteristics of the cartilage layer which provides both shock absorption as well as smooth gliding of the joint. Now, this delicate process of matrix and collagen production as well as the architectural organization of the cartilage layer is influenced by exercise and activity and this can be in a positive or anabolic way or in a negative or catabolic way. Now it has taken a lot of time before we started to realize what type of activity is either good or bad or neutral to the cartilage but today our scientific knowledge has become much better although we still don't know everything and our current knowledge today can be summarized as follows. Cartilage is strengthened by short bouts of 10 to 15 minutes of cyclic non-impact or soft impact exercise of moderate intensity and resistance with sufficiently long intervening rest periods. Now, this requires a second read. Cartilage is strengthened by short bouts of 10 to 15 minutes of cyclic, repetitive, non-impact or soft impact exercise of moderate intensity and resistance with sufficiently long rest periods between sessions. So indeed, what cartilage cells like is cyclic repetitive gliding motion. Then these cells are stimulated to produce matrix and collagen, which become nicely aligned architecturally, especially in the superficial layers where they provide a smooth gliding layer. And this happens especially when the cyclic motion is combined with moderate, consistent axial pressure. That is ideal. Then we get a nice, strong and smooth cartilage gliding and protection layer. So. How do we do this in real life? Well, as you will understand, cycling on a stationary bike is about the ideal. 10 to 15 minutes. Longer is not necessary because after 10 to 15 minutes, the cartilage cells, the chondrocytes, go in shut down and there is no further beneficial effect. You can go longer if you want, but the beneficial effect is gained the first 10 to 15 minutes. Thereafter, there is no further gain. And you should have sufficiently long interval, some 4 to 8 hours, depending on the health status of your cartilage. So the important thing is the cyclic, repetitive nature of the activity and the constant resistance of the effort, which should be moderate in intensity. If you don't like to bike, there are alternatives. For example, the cross trainer. 10 to 15 minutes, 60 to 70 cycles per minute, moderate resistance. 6 to 12 hours minimum interval, that means once, maximum twice a day. Another option, the rowing machine. 10 to 15 minutes, 20 to 30 strokes per minute is the ideal frequency, moderate resistance, 6 to 12 hours minimum interval. Another option, the leg press machine, 10 to 15 minutes, 20 to 30 repetitions per minute, moderate resistance. 6 to 12 hours minimum interval, so maximum once or twice a day. So remember this picture, this is what your cartilage likes. What your cartilage does not like so much is this, sudden spikes of load. Correct, like in running or jumping. Compare it to the constant load of the previous exercises, the green line, and the spikes during running or jumping. That is what the cartilage does not like, especially when the impact is hard and goes on and on for a long time. But there is indeed a but. Although these impact spikes are not so friendly for the cartilage itself, they have a positive effect on this layer, the so-called subchondral bone plate. That is the bone layer that lies immediately under the cartilage layer. Impact loading strengthens this subchondral bone plate, which is important because it protects the deeper underlying bone, which is softer and highly sensitive. So when you strengthen this subchondral bone plate, in the long run, and despite your cartilage not being perfect, this may bring you back to being able to do impact sports, like long distance running and jumping. But you have to go very, very slowly. First improve the quality of your cartilage layer with the exercises I've explained, cyclic, non-impact, moderate resistance, 10 to 15 minutes per day. Then gradually proceed to soft impact loading, like high speed walking or soft jogging, combined with strength training, and then proceed very gradually to real running. And take your time. This is a very slow process because these tissues take time to adjust and become stronger. Now, many people ask me, should I also take cartilage supplements during this process? The answer is, you probably should. 
There is today, indeed, increasing evidence that several molecules or formulations can help. I have listed the ones on which the most convincing scientific evidence is currently available. That is, glucosamine, AKBA, undenaturated collagen type 2, collagen hydrolysate, bromelain. The working mechanism is not the same for all. Some reinforce the anabolic cell mechanisms, others decrease the catabolic pathways. So you can use them separately or in combinations. So, this is what you can do when you have suboptimal cartilage and how you can gradually work your way back to less pain or discomfort and gradually go back to increasing sports participation, even including running and jumping. Thank you for watching.